Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of BWD. Today we're gonna learn more about the PyTube library by exploring the playlist and the channel class. If you are new to this channel or you're back watching this video, do not forget you can find timestamps in the video description below. And now, without further ado, let's get started. As we have learned in the previous episodes, PyTube offers a series of native classes. For example, the YouTube class. And today we're gonna explore more. For example, we're gonna use the Playlist class. And this works as an interface between our program and the actual playlist on YouTube. As you might guess, all these classes need an input, which is usually the URL. So in this case, we're gonna need to provide the URL of the playlist. For example, in the BWD channel, if we go to Playlists, we can find the Python Beginner Tutorial Playlist. So let's take it as an example and play with it. First off, let's create an instance by passing the URL of the playlist to the Playlist class. And now let's see what's inside. As you can see, what we get out of it is just a list of all the video's URL. However, the Playlist class offers additional functionalities. For example, we can check the description of the playlist itself. And we can check also the total number of views, the title as well. On top of that, we can also learn more about the channel who published the playlist. We can check the ID, and we can even retrieve the URL of the channel itself. All right, but how can we get the videos out of the playlist? As we've seen, if we type in the playlist variable, then we get out of it all the URLs of the videos. But these can be also be obtained like this. So to get the actual videos, what we gotta do is to check the content of the video's attribute. When we check the type, we discover that this is an instance of the YouTube class, and this is very really powerful. In fact, we can leverage the API of the YouTube class. For example, we can check the title of the video, how many times the video has been watched, when it has been published, and you know, all the goodies that are available with the YouTube class. Okay, and now let's grab another playlist to play around with it. What about Bruno Mars, guys? All right, let's see. The first ones are from the Bruno Mars official channel, and probably all the videos are gonna be from there. So let's see if we can find something else. Okay, what about this one? Let's see what's inside. All right, in total there are 126 videos. We can check the owner of the playlist, or in other words, who created it. And now let's see what are the channels that publish all the videos. So as you can see, some videos actually belongs to the Bruno Mars channel itself, but there are others who are from different channels. And not only we can know the name of the channel, but we can even retrieve its URL. So now it comes the interesting part. For example here, we can see there is this channel called Gustavo Cairo, which has a video in this playlist. But what is this channel all about exactly? What we can do is to grab the URL of the channel, then import a channel class from PyTube and create an instance of it. And the channel class has its own API exactly like the YouTube and the playlist class. So for example here, if we wanna know more about what this channel is about, we can check its description. Okay, this doesn't tell us very much, but my guess is this channel is not a channel owned by a corporation, another is a huge channel. Probably, looking at the name, it's just a regular guy like me and you living in a Spanish-speaking country. So let's see if we can discover more about it. First of all, what I would check is the total number of views of the channel. And then, let's see how many videos this guy published. So as you can see, 21 videos, roughly 100,000 views, Again, my guess is this is just a regular guy. And now, let's have a look at the videos, and let's see if we can discover more about Gustavo. As you might have guessed, in the videos attribute, what we're gonna find are instances of the YouTube class, and this is actually great news, because we can use its API. So let's try to see what these videos are about. Alright, as we can see on the screen, there are the titles of what they appear to be music videos. For example, there are some videos from Lady Gaga, and these appear to be only audio. Then we have a Bruno Mars video from the Super Bowl, so this is probably the video that we found in our playlist. Alright, as you can see, combining these classes, 
we are able to navigate the YouTube website and actually to retrieve a lot of useful information. And we got kind of an idea of what this channel is about. And now, let's check it out. Here we go, and here we can see Gustavo. Let's check out the video section. And as you can see, there are videos of live shows, lyric songs, and yeah. So let's see where is the Bruno Mars. Oh, here we go, we have another Bruno Mars video. And here we have the Super Bowl video. All right, this was just a short example, but I really think that shows you how much we can do with the PyTube library. We're gonna do a full project in the next video. And now let's finish to explore the API of the channel class. But from here, let's give it a try with another one. How about the Bruno Mars official one? As we've seen a few seconds ago, the first thing that we should do is to check the name of the channel. And here we go, we see what we expected, right? We can also check its ID. Then we can also check the total number of views of the channel. And as you might have guessed, Bruno is pretty popular. Another point where we can get a lot of information is of course the description of the channel itself which is always accessible under the description attribute. Another interesting information is to know when was the last update of the channel, and this is available at the last updated attribute. As you can see, despite being very popular, this channel hasn't updated in 6 months. We can see that several sections are available. We have the home, we have the videos section, we have the short section, and so on, right? For every section, we can always retrieve the URL. Also, for the channel class, all the videos are available under the videos attribute. However, here we might have also shorts, and this can be found under the shorts attribute. So, as you can see, with 93 videos and 6 shorts, the Bruno Mars channel has been able to generate roughly 19 billion of views. Not bad, right? Ok, we have finally come to the end of this video. Do not forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel to not miss next week's episode. And with that said, see you in the next one. Ciao!